This is All India Radio. In the program spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on air pollution effects and precautions. The participants are Dr. Ravindra Khaiwal, environmentalist and Omvesh Upadhyay, AIR correspondent. India's capital city, Delhi, experiences some of its worst level of pollution during winters. Several factors like the burning of farm stubble, factory emissions, traffic fumes, general weather patterns and the fireworks that light up the night sky during the Diwali festival. To discuss the challenges of managing air pollution in Delhi NCR, we have with us Dr. Ravind Khewal. In the very first question, I want to point out that every year we witness a surge in air pollution during winters in Delhi NCR. Dr. Khewal, according to you, what are the major factors that contribute largely to the problem of air pollution in the NCR? Air pollution become a major issue during the winter season. The two factors play the major role. One is the meteorology and the second is the emission. Local emissions such as from vehicular, you can say, load, industries, municipal solid waste burning, construction activity and non-exhaust emission, all those contribute to the air pollution. At the same time, the meteorology means the atmospheric boundary layer where the pollution mixes that become half means the area become reduced because of the cold season and the wind normally is not blowing with a high speed so ventilation index or coefficient remain low and that makes stable condition leading to high air pollution in this region. So owing to the meteorology and the emission we can say that this season sees the high air pollution episode uh, over all indo gangetic plains. Dr. Khewal, recently Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Bhupendra Yadav held a meeting on air pollution with environment ministers of the NCR states, the government of the National Capital Territory of Delhi and Punjab with a primary focus on crop residue management and aiming to shift usage to cleaner fuels. Dr. Khewal, what significance does this meeting hold at this point of time? Center and state government are very serious to tackle the issue of air pollution because it's a major health risk for various diseases. Considering this, in 2019, 10th January, the central government, you can say, launched a major plan known as National Clean Air Program, under which they have a target that by 24, they will reduce 20 to 30 percent of the particulate matter in the known attainment cities based on the 2016 or 17 data. Now this has 132 cities under this category, having major cities from Haryana, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and Delhi itself. Now this requires a kind of a intersectoral coordination because air pollution has no boundary and the state and center need to work together so that uh, through blaming each other you cannot uh, really give the solution but sitting together you can identify a solution. Considering this, this meeting was held having the state representative and the center itself. There was the focus on these first like construction and demolition waste. So all you can say CND project having in the area of 500 square meter will have to register on a web portal and they have to install a smoke gun so that the pollution from the construction and demolition activities could be minimized. At the same time, there was a discussion about what effort has been already made to minimize the crop residue burning and what additional measure could be taken by the state government so that Haryana Punjab report the minimum number of uh, crop residue count. And another issue was the municipal solid waste burning because you know in a city it can contribute up to 20 to 30 percent of the total pollution load. And considering this, it was decided that the focus should be on waste segregation and at the same time these burning either at isolated area or at uh, landfill sites should be restricted. Apart from this, they discussed about should we allow crackers or not and I learned that a few states have allowed the green crackers. Uh, and the specific focus was that public should be made partner to minimize air pollution because they hold the key. We need to think about that how through our individual activities and actions we can minimize the pollution. Like I will give you one example, energy consumption is directly linked to the air pollution. So if we minimize our energy consumption by switching off the bulb or making use of electric vehicle, we can really contribute to the air pollution control. So while we expect something from the government, as an individual we also need to contribute towards the air pollution control. Sir, as you rightly pointed out in your answer that government did plan out, outline how to handle the crop residue in the meeting that happened recently. 
If I'm not wrong, authorities are also planning to expand the area under bio decomposers as an important strategy towards in situ stable management. How much or less do you think this will help in combating air pollution, Dr. Khewal? When it comes to the crop residue management, actually, you cannot focus on one technology or one solution. So, considering this, both ex situ and in situ management are being considered. And even before the sowing of, you can say, paddy, there was a portal from the Punjab government where societies can register and can get benefit of these uh, farm machinery, which help in ex situ and in situ management. At the same time, the stubble is also being purchased by, you can say, many industries which are making use of this as a fuel. And there are other alternatives are also being, you can say, plant making use of uh, parali or stubble basically, like they can make the cardboard or nowadays you also see the fall ceiling. So these alternatives are also being promoted. But the choice remains majorly on the farmer, means what he wants, like making or mulching these uh, residue will also enhance the productivity and the yield. Same way, making use of the machinery like apiceter, which again makes this crop residue in the soil, will also enhance the productivity. So all these factors have been taken care by the government and there was the awareness, there was engagement of the farmer through various committee so that they minimize the crop residue burning. Further, the government also provided, you can say, incentive for the crop diversification. We know that there are certain uh, cereals you can make use and they not only, I means their, you can say, waste is utilized, but also make use of less water and they are more environmental friendly. So 2023 has been declared by Government of India and our Prime Minister as uh, Year of Millets. So these millets also help, you can say, in uh, minimizing the crop residue burning emissions. So you rightly pointed out that there is an important role by farmers and to take care of there when we talk about the paddy residue burning. It is usually noticed that the paddy residue which is put on fire in NCR states contributes to Delhi's air pollution. To fight this challenge, the Union Ministry of Environment has aimed to promote alternate usage of paddy straw as an economic resource, aiming to serve dual purpose of countering the smog issue in NCR as well as helping farmers economically. What are your views on this, Dr. Keval? Central government is very keen, along with the state, that this crop residue burning should be sold. And the focus of National Clean Air Program and the Commission on Air Quality Management, which was formed basically to facilitate coordination among centers, is working in this direction. And they have given various solutions, starting from ex situ to in situ. And both also include monetary benefit to the farmer, to the industry also who will make use of this alternative product from the crop residue. So these include basically energy generation. So there are many stable based, you can say, energy plants are being installed or they are already working. Like in Punjab, there is the Asia's largest, you can say, composter. Asia's largest energy generating plant is there. There is also industry which are working to make compost out of it. There are industries which are making use to make other products for the common man use. Like you know that plastic is banned now, you can also make use of this crop as you to make biodegradable cutleries. Definitely, sir. With the knowledge that Diwali is about to come the, at the end of this month, Diwali is celebrated with joy and we witness heavy usage of firecrackers at this time. The data shows a sudden rise in air pollution after Diwali. To resist the sudden rise of smog in NCR, the bursting of crackers has completely been banned in Delhi, while Haryana and UP have permitted the use of green firecrackers. How helpful are such bans, Dr. Khewal? If you look at our study which was recently published, we need to have all states to ban actually firecrackers. But if that is not possible, the green cracker is being allowed by few states. That is, I think, compromise between the saying no to cracker and then having a better choice. But green crackers means roughly 30% less pollution. So we need to be careful that uh, certain toxic metals which used to be in the firecracker like aluminium magnesium for white color, carbon and iron for orange color, sodium compound for yellow, copper for blue, strontium carbonate for red or barium monochloride or barium nitrate uh, for green color. They uh, become the part of the environment. So from air, then they become part of the soil and then the water bodies, which have major health risk. 
so we should first avoid the firecracker if we cannot avoid we should minimize the firecracker and as the government has allowed the the green cracker they will have to reduce the pollution because there are three types of the firecracker one is known as swas basically known as a safe water releaser so when they brush they release small water droplets and that bring down the particle being formed at the same time the second type is stored means safe thermite cracker they do not comprises of potassium nitrate or sulfur which are known for their toxicity so they reduce particulate matter emissions basically and also the sound intensity is not that high another category or the last category is sulfur means safe minimum aluminum the toxic metal uses are reduced or they make use of magnesium instead of aluminum so this basically help in reduction of the toxic metal emission so overall green crackers are not that you can say green but yes they minimize pollution to certain level so first thing is that we should avoid making means using crackers and if that is not possible uh, we should go for approved green crackers because in the market there are many other crackers are being sold on the name of green crackers and important thing is that we need to understand that the air pollution is not only the government responsibility but individual responsibility when we want government to take a step and government is taking a step under national clean air program by providing the road uh, sweeping machine we are also providing solution of the paddy residue we also can contribute through small measure so like the first thing is that uh, it should segregate our waste from home because if we do that we can minimize or help to reduce the air pollution by 20 to 30% definitely sir second this burning of uh, municipal solid waste or the emission from the landfill they contribute majorly to the city emission the one thing which i forget to mention was also that delhi has a large population of roughly over 2 crore population whereas punjab has 3 crore so we need to understand that so many i mean large number of population so per capita emission of delhi is also very high which lead to the severe air pollution episode in the capital or in the national captivity region definitely sir as we discussed that there the government is taking several steps to counter the air pollution challenge in delhi ncr how do you think that government when we talk about that government is aiming to promote public awareness and participation to control the deterioration of air quality index in delhi and sir do you think that these measures that we discussed in the discussion will reap benefits slowly and can be witnessed in the coming future if so what positive impacts can we expect government has spent so much on electric vehicles we know that if we uh, miss and they are monetary benefit to us also for making use of electric benefit buying of electric vehicles so when you buy electric vehicle basically the emissions you can say are minimized means they are instead of a line they will be at somewhere where the energy is being produced but uh, you have mechanism to control the emission at that place so the government is focusing first on electric vehicle second they are also working on the proper waste management uh, then the solar power or you can say solar grid is being promoted and india is a global leader in this direction at the same time the government is also focusing on green building concept further the diesel engine or you can say diesel set are being discouraged and only being allowed in emergency and the government is again promoting for power backup the use of inverter or other you can say green sources of energy at the same time you might have noticed your city might be having public transport based on the e vehicle so these are some of the initiative we are seeing where the government is supporting through the non motorized mode of transport through electrification of the transport uh, or having the public partnership for minimize the air pollution definitely sir taking this as your concluding remark i would like to thank you for joining us today in the discussion on the challenges of managing air pollution in delhi ncr thank you so much sir thank you You were listening to a discussion on air pollution effects and precautions. The participants were Dr. Ravindra Khaiwal, environmentalist and Om Vesh Upadhyay, AIR correspondent. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on a mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on a YouTube channel, News on AIR Official. You may email opinion about this program at airnsdtalks. at gmail.com